This tutorial is on scientific notation. Scientific notation is a fantastic way of shortening really, 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 really large numbers or really, 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 really small numbers. So for instance, this number over here is Avogadro's number. It is a constant that you'll be using uh, fairly frequently in units three, four, and five. So imagine having to write this number out all the time. A waste of time. So instead, scientists like to use scientific notation. So the scientific notation form for this would be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. I would much rather write this than this. So scientific notation is a short form, a way to get rid of all these zeros, yet still write the same number. So this one's standard notation, the standard way to write numbers. It's called the scientific notation, the faster way of writing really large numbers or really small numbers. So, how does it work? Let's take a look over here. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000. Now, I could write 10 times 10, or I could also write it as 10 to the power of 2. I could write 10 times 10 times 10, or I could write that as 10 to the power of 3. Do you see a pattern here? 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 3 zeros. So, what's happened over here is we're getting rid of these zeros and replacing them with exponents. Okay, so let's do a sample question here. Let's try something large like uh, 3, 2, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, now scientific notation, there's a standard form for it. The format goes like this. There's one digit at the front, then there's a decimal, then the remaining digit digits go below, or behind rather, in the multiplication sign, 10 to the power of whatever your exponent is. All right, so one more time, a single digit followed by a decimal, and the remainder of the digits times 10 to the power of an exponent. Now the key here is that the first digit must be a non-zero number. So it cannot be a zero. I mean, that's the whole point of scientific notation. Get rid of zeros when possible. So it must be a non-zero number. So let's take a look at this one over here. I got 328 million. I want to shorten this up. So I need to convert this into this format. So what I do is I take the first digit, 3. Let's use red. 3. The remainder of the digits, 2, 8. Now, I don't need these zeros because I'm trying to get rid of them times 10 to the power of whatever. Now, right now, the decimal is located here. Because when there is no decimal shown, you assume it's at the end. I want the decimal to be between the 3 and the 2, because that's the format. How many jumps is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 jumps. 8 jumps. So I write 8. Now, because this is a really large number, larger than 1, what I need to do is put a positive sign. Well, I don't really need to put a positive sign, but it is a positive exponent. And you're done. Let's try another one. Let's go with green, and let's try a small number this time. 0 0.00000702. Let's try that one out. So again, let's follow the format. Single digit, decimal, Remainder digits times 10 to the power of an exponent. So, I want to get rid of all these zeros. The first non zero number I get to is the 7. So I write 7. Then I need to write the rest of the numbers. Now, this 0 is here and there's a 2, so I have to go 0, 2. Now, the decimal is currently located here. I want the decimal to be between the 7 and the 0. 7 and the 0. So how many jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps. The exponent of 7. However, this is a smaller number. It's less than 1. Because it's a small number, we place a negative in front of the exponent. So remember, large numbers greater than 1, positive exponent. Small numbers less than 1, negative exponent. 